At 8.30 Tuesday evening Taiwan time, Vice President Lai Qingde attended the inauguration ceremony of Paraguay's new president, Santiago Peña. The day before, Peña personally invited Lai to visit his residence. The two officials exchanged an embrace during their meeting, and Peña vowed to maintain diplomatic ties with Taiwan. Lai also met students from Taiwan Paraguay Polytechnic University, presenting them with a gift of neck pillows. The vice president will leave Paraguay Wednesday morning, stopping overnight in San Francisco before returning home. Upon seeing Vice President Lai Qingde, Paraguay's president-elect Santiago Peña immediately reached out for a handshake and a hug. Peña invited Lai to his official residence, where they shared a lively conversation. Lai also met with outgoing President Mario Abdo Benitez. I visited sitting President Mario Abdo Benitez as well as President-elect Santiago Peña. He stressed that his administration will continue to maintain diplomatic ties with the ROC Taiwan and that he hopes to deepen exchanges and cooperation with Taiwan. On his whirlwind tour, Lai also met graduates and student representatives from the Taiwan Paraguay Polytechnic University. He tried his hand at making a chipa, a Paraguayan baked snack. He said Taiwan would continue to cooperate with Paraguay on education projects. I can see the joy in your faces. It is a pleasant surprise for me to be able to meet all of you here. You are the bridges that will connect Taiwan and Paraguay. In the future, Taiwan will continue to work with Paraguay on the major project that is the Taiwan Paraguay Polytechnic University. Taiwan will continue to assist Paraguay in cultivating talent in your country to continue propelling Paraguay forward. Lai also had a gift for the students, giving each a neck pillow with a stamp of Taiwan. So, in this Taiwan can be your Lai said the students could count on Taiwan. Meanwhile, Taiwanese and Paraguay made clear that Lai had their support. Before my plane had even landed, I could see from up in the sky a group of Taiwanese expats waving the national flag to welcome us here. I was so excited. It felt like meeting old friends in a foreign land, but at the same time, it felt like we had never left our country. It was very heartwarming. Lai's reception had 31 tables. At the event, Taiwanese expats presented him a handicraft artwork featuring the flags of both countries together as a sign of a stable alliance ahead.